Meanwhile, in, near, in nearby Ghana, more than three years into his term as president, John Atamills says he is looking forward to serving a second four-year term. He also says he's confident he will be re-elected in December, despite some unpopular decisions he has made. Cuts in fuel subsidies in Nigeria have caused nationwide protests that have almost brought the country to a standstill. Several people have died in the turmoil. But neighboring Ghana remains calm, despite making the same fuel cuts around the same time. The country's president, John Utter Mills, says that his decision in December to abandon fuel subsidies, a move that raised pump prices by 13 percent, was a tough one, but that he had no other option. Mills says he's confident that Ghanaians will re-elect him in December. We have made a good beginning, and I think that the people of Ghana will see what we have done and see what we are capable of doing and give us another turn. Ghana is a new oil producer in West Africa, having started production just last year. But despite the short time, Mills says his government has used the money wisely to boost the economy, using part of offshore oil revenues to help to bring double-digit growth in cocoa production. Ghana is the world's second largest producer of cocoa. This government has indeed used the resources to provide the people of Ghana with amenities which they had not seen for years. They can see the things for, for themselves. Analysts say Mills' popularity among Ghana's citizens remains high, but his bid for re-election drew mixed reaction from citizens in the streets of Accra. Professor Mills, his term of office so far, for me, he has done a great job because I have never seen a president who have been in in four years terms with this kind of uh, job. He's doing well. Okay, there are a lot of developments now, but really, how does it translate into the layman's pocket? Seriously. For me, it looks like the rich always get richer and the poor get poor. Peter Cloti of VOA's English to Africa service says Mill's government consulted the public about the intended fuel subsidy cuts, thus averting the kind of crisis that has erupted in Nigeria. However, he says the move has energized some of President Mills' political opponents. There could be a political backlash in Ghana because I spoke with some opposition guys. They said, oh, this is a fodder for us. We're going to throw them out in 2012. Now, the others are also saying, well, this is a political ploy by the government to save enough money for its campaign later this year. One opponent analysts say could give Mills a tough challenge is his 2008 rival and main opposition candidate Nana Akufo Addo of the former ruling New Patriotic Party who Mills defeated in a runoff. Recent polls show that the opposition leader seemed to be leading him although senior officials of the administration have completely dismissed those polls but we are yet to see how that will translate into real figures come December this year. Many also say to win, Mills, representing the National Democratic Congress, will need to improve his frosty relationship with former President Jerry John Rawlings, who still wields political influence. Mills was his vice president from 1997 to 2001. In addition to the success in cocoa production, Ghana began oil and gas production in the Jubilee field, which is estimated to contain 2 billion barrels of oil or more.